So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first set of innovations. And I want to start with routing. Now, core networking is the key to service resiliency. It's actually the key to service experience. What all of you are experiencing today is enabled by the core infrastructure. And I'm going to do something really dangerous right now as a presenter. I'd like everybody to pull out their mobile phones, if you would, please. And, and then go ahead and put your phone in airplane mode. Okay. Now, put the phone back in your pocket, please. Now, that probably made a few of you a little bit nervous, because now, how useful is that device in your pocket? How connected, after an hour, or a day, or a week, or a month, would you feel to your business? How connected would you feel to your family? Connectivity and what's enabled by the core infrastructure is just like the need to turn on a tap water and have fresh water come out at the same time. It's an expectation that we all have for what's actually happening. I already see some of you turning airplane mode back off again. Now, the reality of the situation is, is there are a tremendous amount of volume of data happening. In fact, we know that by 2018, there'll be 4,000 petabytes of daily traffic traversing the network. That's over a million two-hour movies happening every single day. Now, try to fathom that amount of details. And well, what is Juniper doing in order to respond to this kind of volume growth that our customers are seeing? Well, what we're doing is we're revolutionizing routing one more time. And we're starting from the basics. We're starting by building custom silicon. Now, we're not opposed to merchant silicon. If merchant silicon was able to resolve the issues that our customers are facing around growth and scale and performance, we would use it. But quite frankly, it doesn't. And we have the world's most innovative piece of custom silicon available. It utilizes 3D memory technology, which enable a 20 times space efficiency. That means that you can put more of them in a smaller amount of space, which is critical to building large-scale systems. This chip enabled a four times performance increase and a three times efficiency increase from what we shipped just two short years ago. This enables 500 gigs of throughput. Now, if you were one of our competitors, that would translate into a one terabit per second of half duplex traffic. But we count things the way our customers count things, and they count them as 500 by, five by 100 gigs of traffic flowing through this device. However, because we took the time to build that 500 gig pipeline, that means we're 400 gig ready. So when that standard is finally ratified, we'll be able to take this same chip and ship a 400 gig capable platform. But the custom silicon is just one piece of it. You have to be able to take the silicon and build a system. And what we've done is we've built additional line cards for the PTX 5000 and the PTX 3000. We've been able to build a platform that has 30 by 100 gig E interfaces in a single line card. That's three terabits per second per slot. That enables in a single rack 24 terabits per second. Now, when you start talking about numbers, it's like talking about how far away Saturn is. I know it's, it's a little bit out there. So let me try to explain a bit and make it real for everybody here. I live in California. That means that we have a small backyard. And in my very small backyard, I have a very small pool. Uh, and periodically, I need to refill that pool. So I stick a garden hose into that pool, and it takes about a week to fill that pool up with water. Now, if we were to assume that every single drop of water going into that pool was a bit of traffic, then the PTX 5000 could move the entire Indian Ocean in the same amount of time, one week. That gives you an idea of how much traffic we're actually talking about moving through these systems. So you know we can, big them, we can build them real big with the PTX 5000, and that enables an 81% greater efficiency than our nearest competitor. But if you look at the PTX 3000, 
We can build them lean and mean as well. It is a 91% more space efficient than the nearest competition because we can, are able to do eight terabits per second, not just in height, but also in depth. This is market leading. This is fundamental changes to what's happening in the industry. This is what enables and empowers our people to want to come into work every day and build these great systems. But again, this is just the beginning. There's two ways to get efficiency in your network. One is you put in the latest and greatest Juniper equipment. The second way is actually to look at things from a software-defined networking perspective. Infinetics put out a report last year that stated that by in the next few years, every single major service provider will be deploying software-defined networking to create more efficiency inside of their network environments. And we're enabling that to happen with the enhancements to the North Star controller. This is an SDN device that is enabled to optimize paths at multiple layers, the first controller in the market to enable us to do so. Not only at the packet layer for IP and, or MPLS, but also at the optical layer at the same time. And it's multi-vendor capable. Juniper is committed down to our DNA to being open. And so every time we come out with our solution, we want to make sure that it seamlessly integrates into multiple different providers' infrastructures.